next thing what i'm going to explain in any java interview the most valuable question the most repeatedly asked question in the interview room if you go for 10 interviews minimum 8 to 9 interviews this concept this this question is nothing but very common what is the difference between interface and abstract class what are various differences between interface and abstract class when we should go for interface concept when we should go for abstract class okay these are things what i have to explain so all differences all possible differences between interface and abstract class almost eight to nine differences let me spell out so that a few people are going to tell these these exact differences definitely interview person may feel very happy okay this is now so what is difference between interface and abstract class better to keep submitting differences between differences between differences between between interface interface and the abstract class differences between interface and the abstract class and the abstract class differences between interface and abstract class now i will summarize all differences with explanation in the tabular form so first uh, better to take the table interface is the first column next one abstract class abstract class is the second column interface and abstract class interface and abstract abstract class so the first point just a legend legend the first point when we should go for interface when we should go for abstract class if we don't know anything about implementation just we have requirement specification if we don't know anything about implementation just we have requirement specification then we should go for what interface concept if we are talking about implementation yes i know implementation but not completely partial implementation then we should go for what abstract class right so the first point is the very clear if we don't know anything about implementation just we have requirement specification then we should go for interface if we know implementation but not completely partial implementation then we should go for abstract class right i hope better to take first point okay that's all so the first point is a very clear when we should go for interface when we should go for abstract class now the second point let me talk about interface methods legend legend every method present inside interface is always public and abstract whether we are declaring or not every method every method present inside interface is always public and abstract whether we are declaring or not that's why interface is also known as 100% pure 100% pure abstract class 100% pure abstract class okay this is but inside abstract class every method need not be public need not be abstract in addition to abstract methods we can take concrete methods also inside interface both abstract and concrete method happily we can take there is no problem at all are you getting that okay this is so inside interface every method is always what public and abstract whether we are declaring or not okay this is that's why interface is also known as 100 percent pure abstract class but inside abstract class in addition to abstract method happily we can take concrete methods also is nothing but lying so second second point right better to take that's all is nothing but second so about interface method every method present inside interface is always public and abstract whether we are declaring or not but there need not be public need not be abstract 
we can take normal concrete methods also in addition to abstract methods right you got the same next third one very important point if for interface method is always public if it is always public we can't declare with the private and the protected modifiers right are you getting because every interface method is always public if it is always public we can't declare private and protected okay this is every interface method is always abstract is always abstract for the abstract method there's a big enemy list is there we can't declare with the final we can declare with final because already abstract abstract of final illegal combination we can't declare with the static we can't declare with the synchronized we can't declare with the native we can't declare with the strict fp okay normal method we can declare with all these modifiers no problem at all but with the abstract method you can't declare with these modifiers right because if for interface method is always public and abstract that's why interface method we can't declare with these modifiers right okay this is add third point now so the point is the clear but what you about abstract class method modifier there are no restrictions at all abstract class methods can be private can be protected can be final can be static no problem at all okay this at this point that's all are you getting right so second point and third point talks about interface methods okay every interface method is always public and abstract and interface method we can't declare with these modifiers right but there are no such type of restrictions for abstract class methods right okay this is next point the next two or three points we are going to talk about okay variables interface variables right now every variable present inside interface every variable every variable present inside interface is always is always public static and the final is always public static and the final whether we are declaring or not are you getting right every interface variable is always public static and the final whether we are declaring or not okay this but what about abstract class variable abstract class variable need not be public abstract class variable need not be static and final so every variable present inside interface is always public static and final whether we are declaring or not okay at this point next point so fifth point of course every variable present inside interface is always public static and final yes every variable is always public is always public we can't declare interface variable with the private and the protected we can't declare interface variable with the private and protected because it's already public private protected default such a type of terminology not applicable right next uh, for the interface is it possible to create object no we can't create object if we can't create object then serialization concept not applicable right okay if serialization concept not applicable okay this is not not applicable then transient keyword not applicable for interface concept is it clear right okay this is because so serialization concept applicable for objects transient keyword applicable for serialization but for interface concept we can't create object that's why transient such type of terminology not applicable for interface variable that's why so as a serialization concept not applicable that's why transient modifier not applicable right next term every interface variable is always final if it is always final okay we can't apply volatile modifier because volatile means keep on changing 
final means value fixed contradiction right yes it is already final final we can't declare with the volatile modifier right are you getting we can't we can't declare with the volatile modifier right okay this way. so your interface variable is always public static final that's why we can't declare interface variable with these modifiers right okay this way. so private protected transient next volatile such a type of terminology not applicable for interface variable but what about abstract class variable no problem happily we can apply these modifiers for abstract class variables there are no restrictions right okay at the next point is it clear for all of you right so which modifiers applicable for interface variable which modifiers we can't apply what about abstract class variables right next term, there is another very important point about interface variable it's a very 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 important point right okay this way. for the interface variables suppose if i can take interface interface some some test interface a test within that i'm taking into x that's all just i'm declaring one variable inside interface can you tell is it valid or invalid yes if i can take like this compiler is ready to give left and right because the reason is for interface variable compulsory at the time of declaration only we have to perform initialization right but i'm not performing initialization that's why do you know compile time error we are going to get saying equal equal symbol expected right are you getting so for interface variable compulsory we should perform initialization here the time of declaration only okay this way if i'm not performing initialization compile time error we are going to get but for abstract class variable there is no such a type of restriction are you getting happily whether we are initializing or not no problem at all okay this is yeah, the next point next up seventh point make sure Anna. okay this is so these are three points fourth fifth sixth if you observe talks about interface variables next uh, seventh and eighth these points are also a bit a bit important points right inside interface is it possible to take instance block no because we are not going to create an object that's why instance block static block such a type of terminology not applicable for interface okay this way. but uh, within the abstract class happily we can declare static block happily we can declare instance block right now if you if you observe here just observe this one i'm taking one interface test within that by mistake if i'm taking instance block or by mistake if i'm taking static block immediately compile time error we are going to get so instance block static block such a type of terminology not applicable for the interface okay this is but if i can take abstract class abstract class test if i can take abstract class within that happily you can take instance block happily we can take static block there is no problem at all perfectly it's a valid so inside interface instance block static block such a type of terminology we can't take but inside abstract class happily we can take no problem at all at now the last point the last point very important inside interface is it possible to take constructor can i can i declare constructor concept inside interface no constructor concept not applicable for interface okay this same so because the purpose of constructor to perform initialization of instance variable but within the interface every variable is always static 
every variable is always static no question of instance variable that's why inside interface constructor concept not applicable of course not required because every variable present inside interface is always static is already initialized that's why constructor such a type of terminology not applicable for the interface but inside abstract class we can take instance variable inside abstract class we can take instance variable which are required for child object that's why to perform initialization of instance variable if you want you can take constructor within the abstract class no problem at all is it clear right so is it constructor concept applicable for interface or not not applicable but for abstract class happily we can declare okay add that's all are you getting total how many points we cover total eight eight points right so when we should go for interface when we should go for abstract class what about interface methods abstract class method interface variables next the static block instance block constructor terminal right so in the interview room if interview person is asking what is the difference between interface and abstract class i hope you people in your position to give left and right to the interview person right okay this is that's all these are eight differences what we have between interface and abstract class right the most valuable point repeatedly asked a question in the interview room you people should have special care about this question especially right okay that's all